I'm just evening out the tone around the eye. It's a bit too light at the moment. Curves over and back on itself. Then go back to the 2B. Just get a bit more tone into the top of the eyelash. Got some folds that kind of come down or creases in there in the eye itself. This could do with coming up a bit more. A bit more shape in there. Darken up the pupil a little bit. lift a bit of this out. It's too dark there. There's more of a downturn on the outside of the eye. Where the eye actually comes down there. And then it should come up a bit and then back. Kind of like that. <clears throat> Cups a little bit through there or, or straighter through there. <clears throat> just use the 2H just to knock that down. Slightly darker pencil again. This is a 5B just to get a bit more tone in here. Also up underneath the eyelash, uh, the um, the eyebrow. Link that together a bit more. to the left hand side using the 2H again just to figure out where these shapes are. It feels like this eye is a bit low. Need to come up a bit. This eye needs to come up a bit more here and then down and down through there. bottom of the eye can come up higher. And, uh, just fill that in. Just as a dark shape. And then just gently lift that a bit there. So using the 2H again just to bring these marks down and then I'm going to twist the putty rubber to give me a point and then just lift out a little bit of light in where the cornea is here just to get a slight tonal variation and then use the 2H just to soften that back so it's not so light. And then I need to even all this out. So the under eye here is very wrinkly. There's lots of shapes. So I'm just going to put some tone in this mass of graphite. Just to pick out a few of those. As the eye comes back, this needs to come flatter. Flatter there. And then the eyebrow can actually come a bit lower. Just 
pick out some of that in there. Bring it down a bit on this side as well. And then I'm going to put some tone through his cheek. Again, just using the 2H. So that I lose the very white area. And I can start to see my mid-tones a bit clearer. Take that right up into his nose. Just shade that all together. Coming down the nose. Fill that whole shape in. This part's a bit darker. So this is the first part of that crease that comes up and then it kind of comes back and then up into the forehead and then carries on up. So I need to half turn the edge of that crease. And then we can bring a little bit of light back around this side. And some light in there. And some on here. Coming down the nose. So it's a bit darker here as well in this crease. Continue that darker part back from the half tone edge which is this bit here. Which has got a bit confused so let's just even that out. It's going to smooth out that bit of tone there. Just to, conf just to kind of show the top edge of the nose. And I'm going to use the 2B just to get some of these wrinkles in towards the eye. Start to get those wrinkles coming. Back to the 2H. <clears throat> Make sure it's sharp. It's going to sharpen it again. <sighs> Can use this then to start to form the underside of this this eye socket. Slightly darker around the lower part of the eye than the cheek. I'm going to get some of this cross hatched in. Bring some of those marks back out. And then follow this crease down, and that kind of comes down the face. Just using some randomish marks for that, kind of works its way back up into some of these darker crevices on the corner of the eye. are much more pronounced and then I'm just going to take the putty rubber just to accentuate those a little bit more just redefine the shapes a bit clearer lifting out a little bit of tone there maybe a little bit higher so 
some on this middle one. Some tone in here on this middle one. And then strengthen up this part of the shadow here on his cheek. Make this a bit darker. As it comes up and then into that crease that comes down the forehead. And this then splits and we've got lots of creases kind of coming off of this main patch. And get some of that in. <clears throat> just gonna lift a bit of just gonna use the putty rubber and just very lightly <coughs> move this edge back because it's got a bit too dark there. Just gonna move that edge back a bit. <coughs> so the half tone should come we got a bulge on this brow line there we should come actually a bit further out into the shadow comes around and then up into the forehead I'll just even that out and then pick out some of these little hairs <clears throat> with a putty rubber so we've got a lot more tone there So that kind of comes up through and that links up with this one that comes off of this area and get some of those wrinkles in because the wrinkles really do help to describe the um, direction of the skin over the underlying bone and muscle structure so this hair can come up and then into the forehead and there and I just need to alter the shape of this eye a little bit more it needs to come down a bit there and then just soften that end <clears throat> and then this is a bit darker so just using these patches under the eye just to darken that up exaggerating some of these little folds and creases make it look a bit more craggy and then there's quite a nice bit of tone just here and that comes out into a mark there. Some more marks here. Don't want those two to link together, so let's just rub that out. Need to make this. 
is darker. Tone through here. By putting the tone down first, I can then use the putty rubber and uh, bring the light back to make the shapes. So, to make this feel more rounded, I'm going to put the tone down first, keeping this middle section nice and light, and then take my putty rubber. And then I can just pick out little areas to indicate the lights, little areas of um, change in tone in the skin. A bit lighter there, to there. press to give me a little bit of a change in tone, don't always have to drag it, you can just press the rubber just to lift off a little bit. Okay, a few spots up here, could be a little lighter in there, much lighter there. Put some more tone using the 2B through all of this area. So this is where the cheekbone is, and the cheekbone comes down, and then we come into the hair, which is the beard starting. So I'm just going to start to define where that comes in. Oops. So this part comes through and then links up with the hair over the shoulder. So I'm just going to bring this edge in there. Just contour it a little bit, show that that's the edge of the hair. And then we've got the beard, which is going to then kick back. So I'm going to bring some of that tone as a negative bit of shading on the edge of that beard. Just to start to show that up. And that comes round, around. And we can lift out some little pieces in there. Bring a bit more tone for the shoulder here which needs to come darker. So we'll just put some of that in just to help to show up the lighter element of the beard. If we don't put this in, then obviously then it's almost impossible to show the, the lighter whitey parts of the beard. Because we've only got the white of the paper to play with to give us our highlights. So effectively everything else has to go darker in order to show any lights. We don't really put white on a sketch like this. And to be honest, you couldn't really use a white chalk or anything with this graphite because it would just skid. It wouldn't really show up very well. You'd have to use something like acrylic ink or something perhaps if you really wanted to. but. So then we're just going to bring these tones out of the cheek and actually it needs to come a lot higher because it's too low. We need to bring that up into the cheek more. That's better. And then start to bring these tones down. tone in there so this should be growing out from the cheek so I need to make my marks appear as though they're coming out from the skin somewhat 
and his cheekbone needs to come a bit further out so I need to reduce this shape a little bit more make it a bit bigger and then it kind of comes down and then back up into the cheek <clears throat> so using the 2B just going to work that in a bit so this is a the um, the cheek fold that goes up into the nose so laying down the 2B pencil and then it comes down and then into the moustache and it's much much darker under the nose so we can get that in I'm going to use the 2H again work these bits of graphite in so then I can round that off get some marks in there I need to even out the nose a bit this needs to be a lot darker that comes all the way up back towards the wrinkles and it only comes as far as that part of the nose and then this part's a bit lighter so then this edge just going to darken up on there a little bit more just to increase the tone there a bit <clears throat> and then we'll bring a bit more tone into the beard here so what I'm doing now is I'm just going to use the end of a flat ballpoint needle or something you know that you could use um, just to indent the paper and I'm going to start to work this into the beard to imprint some um, dents so that when I bring the pencil over it it's going to make some of these marks slightly darker and some slightly lighter and so on so I'm just going to get the feeling of you won't really see anything until I put the pencil over the top but it's just indenting or embossing the um, the paper, so it's just pressing into the paper, just to give me those type of marks, just to help to make the beard feel a bit more uh, hair-like. So we need some more up here. I'll just run some graphite over that just to show you what it's going to do. So I'm laying the pencil on the side and then the embossing hopefully will start to show up. There we go. Can't, maybe can't see that so clearly but it's, it's just laying down some um, slightly lighter and darker marks within the um, this area do a bit more of that a bit harder so you have to press reasonably hard to get it um, to emboss the paper and then you want to run the pencil just lightly over the top and then you'll get some some of those marks showing up and obviously the harder you press the deeper the marks will go There we 
if I put a bit more tone through here, hopefully it will show up a bit clearer. And you need to use the pencil on the side to do this. If you use the pencil with the point, it will just push the graphite too much into these little embossed areas and it won't show up at all. So you want to make sure it's on the side of the um, pencil. Let's get these hairs on the white part of his moustache to be a bit more embossed. Really some nice marks in there. Coming round. So if I put some light pencil through this. They should hopefully show up a little bit. There we go. The beard's actually a little bit darker down here, so when I go darker it should show up a bit clearer those marks. So let's do a bit more of that down the bottom here. So the hairs come around and over. Kind of kick out a little bit down here, going in different directions. It's just trying to curve and wiggle the embossing a little bit to give the feeling of the hairs. through that. So I'm going to take my putty rubber and just lose this hard line that we've got in here. Don't really need that now. Just knock that down a bit. <clears throat> it was just to indicate where the uh, shadow edge was, or the majority of the shadow edge was. So this part of the bead, where it's tucking under the chin, it's a little bit darker. in the middle, darken up some of this edge a bit more, get some of the edges of the hair to be a bit stronger. So that the beard shows up a bit clearer. I'm pressing quite hard now. really to try and get the hairs to stand out a bit more against the darker background. <coughs> In there, a few more little air holes. Underneath the mouth, you can define this a bit stronger. So some of those holes, darker bits, and come up under the nose there, 
to show the um, slightly darker hairs around the mouth. And this is where the shadow is being cast from the nose itself over the beard. So it comes down sort of just underneath the mouth. few more little darker bits there and there, here and there. I'm going to bring the tone of this up a bit more, it's too light there. In fact we need a bit more mus moustache cutting through there. Pick out a few of the little lighter pieces of moustache. So just using the putty rubber to lift out the odd lights and then you can just work those back in with some pencil so that they're not too light in one place a couple over here not got quite a bit over this side just work that in to the beard then on the top edge of the nose I'm just going to bring a bit more tone quite lightly from that half tone as we really need a bit more a bit more tone on the nose and around some of these wrinkles and then coming into some of the wrinkles on the lighter side of the face. So where it's incredibly light, you don't want too much graphite, otherwise you'll lose the really nice light effect. But if you go to drop to the, the 2H pencil and press very lightly, you'll get some incredibly light marks that you can bring down on on that side where it is very very light on his face so continue those bits of wrinkle We've got some more wrinkles around this eye that sort of come in in around and down come down into what is this big crease it sort of comes up and over a bit more break that up a bit into the bottom part of the eye there comes across and then this comes down quite dark there some creases up at the top which I'll just work in with my H pencil so this is all in shadow and then I can just work that edge out up into the forehead some more tone on this edge here and then we start to come into the hair on this on this side. There's a little bit of um, wrinkle coming down the outside of his the outside of his eye here, but it's in light, so it's going to be very light. And it comes down, so I'm pressing incredibly lightly with a 2H pencil. But these wrinkles kind of come over the cheekbone and then down and away. Up into the eyebrow. 
here. And then a bit more tone just over the top of the eye there. <clears throat> Continuing these wrinkles down to bring some tone just in a more vertical fashion on the edge of the cheek coming up and then we can link these wrinkles together a little bit there and then it's the fold kind of comes this way and then over so it's coming over like so rounding got another bit of tone here and then down his face and then we're into the fold so let's just lose soften this line off So this is the edge of the cheek here. Just put a little bit more tone through there, just to show it's the round. And this comes down then into the wing of the nose. And then this is the nostril. And we've got some hairs coming off of that. A little triangular piece here. Down then into the moustache again, the beard, some little hairs, and then we're into some greyer, your grey hair. So just going to the 2B now pencil, it's going to bring some squiggly lines, slightly darker, to start to show the hair line up. The hair continues up and then into his quiff. And then that, actually we can't really tell what's going on here too clearly, so I'm just going to bring the tones together. Just make the quiff a little bit lighter. But we can tell that the we've got a nice dark patch where the hairs meet in the forehead. So I'm going to darken this up and a good trick for hair is to make sure that your strokes or your mark making goes in the direction you think the hair is going. So these hairs are going back that way and these hairs are going over to the right even though they're lightening and then these are going up. It's all squiggly scraggly up there. Let's tidy this up a little bit. And then these hairs kind of come out and then go up and then getting a blown away in the wind. And by putting these darker ones in behind we can then show up this quiff on the front here without overstating it. So these hairs kind of scraggle back this way, intercrossing and interlocking. There are lots of crossing over marks, sort of lattice type work marks. And then we're coming down the side of the head. His hair is kicking out there. Got some hairs coming down. Again, it comes out a little bit. We've got some lighter. Oh, just drop the pencil. <coughs> some lighter pieces of hair coming down. So I just pick those out with the putty rubber.
down through there. And again, we can just knock those back, make them thinner. Coming down, put slightly darker, some slightly darker marks over here to show the back of the head. And then we've got some hairs coming out and around. And there's actually some light poking through again, like we did with the beard, but in reverse. So we can just pump some little air holes to show that there's some little bits of light showing through the hairs. Um, join that up to there. Again, make another little shape there. Coming down, back of the head. Keeping it fairly abstract. Comes up there, and then we're into the shoulder. It's coming over that way. That's whatever it is, is hood coming down. Bit more tone just on this edge here, where we have a few little creases coming up into this eye. Get a bit, a bit darker over the eye there, and maybe a bit darker on this eye, just on these eyelash bits. Pick out a few darker patches, a bit darker there. Really to pull the eyes out a bit more, accentuate the nostril there a bit more, a bit more tone in the mouth. Then the forehead to bring some of these shapes out a bit better. So he's got a very um, broken shapes. Let's even that out a bit first. And then use the rubber just to tidy that up. Use the 2H. So let's find some of the creases. Bring some of them through the forehead. So we've got lots of interlinking wrinkles. Comes up and then back down. Too dark. And there's some more wrinkles here. There's also a bit of shadow from the hair, I think, being cast. I won't worry about that, we'll leave that out. Just get these shadow, uh, these wrinkles, because they add a bit more texture to the drawing. A bit more wrinkle up here. And some of these could be slightly darker than the others because they could be facing away from the, from the light. So a bit more tone in there. A little bit more light on this part of the forehead. And then I'm just going to show this as a bit of shadow underneath the hair there. So his hair is kind of coming down in here. So this is all just shadow. So to give the impression that the forehead starts to tip back into 
the hairline. I'll take these marks tipping over, bring the hairline down a bit darker there. Start to curve it up into the hair here. And a few of those little darker bits that we can just exaggerate. Get the feeling of the hair up there. Maybe a couple of darker bits out here. Something from behind. Put a bit of tone here just to show up this right hand side of the beard. Show up a bit clearer. More tone down there. A few more scraggly lines just to finish up. A little bit more tone there. Show the edge of the face. I'm going to use this 6B graphite stick now to get a bit more intensity into some of my darks and make some of the marks slightly different, a bit bigger. So some of the hair, get a bit more variety into the hair. Pick out some of these shapes a bit better in the darks. So again, just using it fairly, fairly flat. Making some of the darker bits a bit darker still. And then obviously putting in a little bit of half tone just to, just to transition that from the dark to the light. A bit more half tone on the front edge of his hair. Get a bit more tone into the forehead here. Get a bit stronger. more straggly marks for the hair up there and then coming down into the eyebrows deepen a few marks in here maybe give him the odd stray eyelash eyebrow sorry not eyelash eyebrow make it a bit richer bit more tone just in the eye there on the darker parts of the eye help it stand out a bit better a bit more tone there a bit here and there a bit in the eye there Some more under the nose, I feel. It's a bit light. And into the shadow. Can get a bit more tone. And into the cheek. Some more hairs. Perhaps some more hairs over this side. Darken all this up. Make it nice and rich. Get some more of that up in the hair. And then 
I can bring the tone of this lighter side of his moustache up a bit and beard. Help to show up some of those marks. Get a little bit more tone, just very, very lightly on this light side of the face. A bit more up in the forehead, just to show the change in direction of the skin. Amplify the wrinkle there a little bit more some of those marks some more wrinkle marks coming down the side there the odd hair here and there more darks here on the nose. A couple more wrinkles on the nose. And the cheeks. Try and get that craggy feeling really weathered, weathered look into his face. It's a little bit darker there. Turn these down a bit just to turn the edge. And with that, I think the drawing is finished.